Hello. Welcome to episode two of percussioneducation.com. My name is Dave Gerhardt. Thank you so much for all the great feedback that I've received from all of you. I really appreciate it. This has been a project I've been thinking about for a long time. And I'm going to just be creating videos, three to four minute videos, about everything related to percussion techniques. And we're starting off with snare drum. Last time we talked about how to set up a snare drum on a stand and making sure that the snares are perpendicular to your body. Today, we're going to talk about how to hold a stick. There are two ways to hold sticks when you're playing snare drum. You can either play match grip or you can play traditional grip. Okay, we're going to talk about match grip today because as being a total percussionist, if you learn match grip, match grip transitions to all the instruments we're going to play. Snare drum, marimba, timpani, and anything else. Okay, not that there's anything wrong with traditional grip, but today we're going to talk about match grip. Okay, so you're going to take a stick in your dominant hand. And for me, my dominant hand is my right hand, okay? And what you're going to try and do is you're, you're going to try and find the place where you're going to create the fulcrum or the pivot point on the stick, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the stick. I'm just going to take the first the stick on my first finger, and I call this my first finger, and I'm just going to let the stick drop. And I, what I'm doing is I'm counting how many bounces I'm getting. You can do this on a pad, you can do this on a drum, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? Just dropping, okay? And then I'm going to move the stick back and try the same thing. And you see how it dies into the pad. And then go the other way. And you see how I only get a few bounces. And then I can get to a point on the stick where it doesn't even bounce. It just sits there. Okay? So I'm trying to find that spot. And it's generally about one third from the butt end of the stick and two thirds from the tip of the stick. Okay? Now for my younger kids in the in middle school, what I generally do in, in beginners is I will take a sharpie and I'll draw a circle at this point once I've found this point. And it's both good for the student and for the teacher because you can check out where the grip is and make sure that when you're creating this grip that it's always in that same spot. Okay, for my older kids, if you don't want the circle, you can use a dot. It doesn't matter. Okay, just a visual reference so you can make sure you're holding it in the same spot every time. All right, so I found that pivot point or fulcrum like we call it and now what I'm gonna do is the stick is gonna rest in my first knuckle of my first finger I call this percussion finger one if you play piano I'm sorry but this is percussion finger number one I put it in my first knuckle there my thumb goes opposite of that stick okay it is parallel with the stick okay the stick then runs out the back of my hand and crosses the love line the love line, for all of you that don't know, is this line right here on my hand. And it goes out of the hand at that point. It doesn't come in like this. It goes out this way. Okay? And the rest of my fingers just close around that. And what I'm doing is I'm playing a first finger fulcrum, meaning that it is in this spot that I create the fulcrum. Okay? Take my other fingers. They wrap around the stick. Now this is not a baseball bat, so I'm not holding onto it as tight as I can. My hand does not turn color or thumb turn to white when I'm holding on the stick. The stick should be in your hand loosely so that you can pull it out of your hand at any time. Okay, do the same thing with my left hand, figuring out the bounce, take the stick, make sure my stick, my thumb is parallel, and there I've got the correct grip for mash grip. Okay. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on the website. You can leave them in the comments. You can email me if you have any questions. I'll be glad to address any concerns. Uh, one shout out to uh, one of the sponsors that I have, BDL Percussion. This is one of their killer pads. We're going to talk more about pads in the future, but you can check them out, BDL Percussion online. So thanks so much, and we'll see you on episode three of percussioneducation.com.